Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everybody, welcome to Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Hi everybody. Kayla's off camera because uh, she's getting ready to go out and take some pictures, but we're here back at the shopping center that had the infamous Target Greatland, which you see behind me here. And we're back here because Kayla wanted to do some photography as she got a new DSLR for Christmas, courtesy of Santa. Santa. Her dad. Hey, <laughs> <AKA> dad. <laughs> but, yeah, and I figured while she's doing that, I'll walk around this joint. Because if you remember, I did a video on this Target once before. So I'm not going to necessarily do one of just the Target. But I'll walk around and show you the shopping center, which is mainly abandoned. There's only one or two businesses here. Like the other world and possibly that hobby shop down at the end. And I think that's it. I don't know about the trampoline park inside of the former Best Buy. But either way, I told you guys we would come back here and do another video, and keeping true to my word, that's what we're here to do. I really want to check out that other world place because it's like a, an art exhibit you can walk through, and it is super cool. There's tons of neon, black light, like you name it. It's literally, mm -hmm. it's such a cool place, but... It's right, it's right there. Unfortunately, you have to get your tickets online, and oh. I... I guess due to COVID, they want people to, they don't sell tickets at the door anymore. So I looked online, the tickets are like 12 bucks. It's not bad. No, that's not but bad then at all. I found out they were, since they're operating on a limited capacity due to the COVID restrictions, they're sold out for Saturday, of course. Of course they are. But hey, I mean, there's tomorrow and there's another time. Oh yeah. There's always time. So. All right. I'm going to go take some pictures of this place. And I guess you're going to go film. I'm going to do some video. Yeah, what the heck. All right, let's do let's it. Hear. You know what? I was just thinking. I came prepared, and I figured I'm going to do something else first. I got the drone. Let's fly the drone around this target, why don't we?
Okay, so briefly, we're just driving by the Target Greatland, and nothing has changed here. It's still abandoned. It, it still has nothing going on here, no life of any kind, which is pretty much the case for all of the businesses here that are closed. But I figured I would just drive around this one real quick, and then I'm going to park the car over by the Best Buy, the old Best Buy, and walk around a little bit and show you those businesses as Kayla does some more photography. It's rare to see a, an abandoned Target, let alone a Target Great Lane, because we never had these in, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I don't even remember them in Texas. I know in Texas we have and had um, Super Targets. Yeah, and we didn't even have those in Pittsburgh. But so. not anything. Nope. Here's your office, Max. And I think the last time when we were here, I checked that there was nothing there. Actually, something CLC. I'm not sure what that stands for, but that's your office, Max. Here's the other world we were telling you about as we drive by this. And then I from this point... I cannot wait to go in there. Seriously. That, that does look like it'll be cool. I've seen pictures online that Kayla showed me. But anyway, I'm going to stop filming from the car. I'm going to park this, and then we'll walk around these businesses up here while Kayla does her thing. Okay, so just on the other side of Otherworld, there's this. I, I can't really make out what it says. Something of cards? House, maybe House of Cards? or I don't know. I'm not sure. But it looks like it's starting to get pretty beat up in here now. I don't know if that wall's new or if they just really stripped it out that much. I'm not really sure. But yeah, nothing going on in this one here. And uh, well, we'll we'll check uh, one of the doors over here for this business. I'm not even sure what this one was next to Otherworld. I like the one with the window. Oh, it's like another business, and then that one too. Let's see what this one was. See, I'm not from around here. I'm not familiar with these places, but it's pretty rare to get entire shopping centers abandoned like this. This is part of the same building here same store and these windows are filthy I don't know what all you can see we'll go up to the door and look in there I don't know what all you can see in there not really much let me go focus there you go yeah there's not really much going on in this one pretty dead just an empty store so nothing in there all, all the stuff on the windows <laughs> trampoline extreme I don't know if that store is actually a store if that park is actually open in the old Best Buy and for any of you guys that live out here Feel free to let me know in the comments what these stores were and whatnot, because I'm not familiar with any of, the, any of these. I just said I would come back and do this. And we're taking a nice day trip. We have a rental, because the Z needs a little bit of work. We just have to replace something on it where it's leaking uh, coolant to either the thermostat housing or a hose, and I just didn't feel like doing it this weekend, so we rented that. I'm not a big fan of Hyundai, but that's really all they had at Enterprise, but that's okay. It's a nice car. Very comfy and smooth smooth ride. It just doesn't look very good. <laughs> but yeah, oh, there. this is the hobby place that's being used. Oh, there's like a little go-kart going around on the track I saw. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Let's take a peek in here. I don't want to freak anybody out though by, by looking around in there. Yeah, look at a little car. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Just keep walking around though. I don't want to creep people out by sticking a camera in the windows of the open businesses. How about that S10 Extreme? You guys see that? You don't see too many of those anymore. That thing's seen better days though. Quarters, uh, gone. <laughs> but they're not bad. I wanted one when I was a kid. Now, this, I guess, was a mattress store. Seeing all the CLE names and whatnot on here. Mattress Firm. There's your answer. 
Wow, this one... This one's a little creepy. I get CVC vibes from it. City View Center. I just wonder what made this whole shopping center fail like this. For starters, I'm just blown away that Target closed up. I guess they just didn't want to renew their lease, even though they did close up all their Great Land stores to begin with. That was a plan to close them all, so I don't know. I guess maybe when Target closed, the rest of this place failed and the Best Buy closed. I mean, this one's been closed for years. I mean, look how faded the paint is on this thing. Yeah, the paint's faded pretty badly on there. You still see the scar from the Best Buy tag in the background. But nothing else. I don't even know if this place is still open. Because when we were here the first time, this was closed. But keep in mind, the virus was just kicking off. It was just a couple of months deep. I hear an alarm going off, so it doesn't sound very good. I see pallet jacks in there and, and my reflection. I see the jacks. I can't really see anything else except glare. I see a couple of things in this doorway here. But it's really hard to tell because it's so bright out here. But I do hear an alarm going off. So, that's your best buy. Vintage Best Buy. And I mean, just to give you an idea of how big this shopping center was, you saw from the drone. I had that drone far away. And that building there, I wanted to do a video on it, but it looks like work is being done to that place. There's a big trailer outside. It's all cleaned up. There used to be garbage and stuff all around that place. It's all cleaned up now. So I suppose work is being done. And we'll just walk down here and look at these little buildings, too. I don't know what any of these were. They're all for lease, though, but I can't see anybody moving in here. The only thing this parking lot is good for are people speeding and doing donuts. Yeah, there's really nothing in here. And that's pretty much the case with all of them. Now, the Target Great Land, though, I would love to explore that. Even though it was used as something else after, I would still love to explore that. Oh, I guess these doors were open. All the leaves and dirt that blew in there. Let's see, what about this one here? That one's all gutted down to the, nothing. There's nothing left. Spray paints that people were inside of this one. I imagine they probably got through that back door over there. People, you don't need to tag things. It's unnecessary. And we'll come down here. Let's look around. This one, the blinds are down. So I don't know what we'll see in here. Might, if we have to, we'll just go look down there. Oh wait, here's an open window. The blinds fell down. <laughs> Bibles. There you go. Guess this was like a Christian store or a Catholic store. I'm assuming. Nothing else though. Nothing that I can see. Man, that's sad. Just saw something inside there I kind of didn't want to see, but it happens sometimes. Poor little fellas got in there and couldn't get out. I'll leave it at that. And this is the last one here at the end of the shopping center. As you can see, it looks like they were starting to clean it up or gave up. I wonder what this one was. This I, I don't recognize any of these properties here. I just like putting them on camera for you guys. But I mean, look at this massive place. We were parked all the way down there. From here... It's about a quarter mile, I'd say. It doesn't look like it on camera, but that's far. <laughs> it's a far little hike. <laughs> that's why I drove the car over here so I could walk around. I, I told you I would walk around this place. I'm thinking, man, if I walk all the way down there, I got a hell of a walk back. And Kayla wanted to get some pictures of the Best Buy and whatnot, so... Just brought the car over here and got out. 
cold day, but it's nice and beautiful out here, though. Not used to seeing the sunlight, <laughs> especially this time of year. I know May, April and May will get real bad, though, with the rain. But, yeah, if you know anything about this place, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. I love this shopping center. I love coming here. It's like City View Center, except I can get in all those... Well, I could get in all those places there. It was so easy to do. But then, they actually, uh, we were in Cleveland a couple of weeks ago, and they started redeveloping that place. The whole shopping center has all new lights. The electricity's on, and all the buildings, all the windows are replaced. All the stores are fixed up. The Walmart's all sealed tight. And they actually have security that they have round the clock there we drove by it the giant eagle is still open we just drove by just to check it out and i was like wow look at that you can't even get in the parking lot like before you used to be able to drive into it they got that fenced off they had security there i mean you could still walk around it they don't care about that but you know if you're there with bad intentions like vandalizing oh yeah you'll get in trouble <laughs> so don't do that <laughs> but yeah i don't know why they want to redevelop that place it's stupid because it failed already, so it's just going to fail again. But hey, maybe we'll have another CVC Part 2 down the road. <laughs> All right, getting in the car where it's warm. Okay, well, that's going to wrap up our view here of this old shopping center at Chandry Square, Chandry Sen Center, however Chandry you pronounce it. something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> however you pronounce it. Um, man, I love coming here. I just wish we could go explore the buildings like you could at City View Center. Yeah, I would love to go inside of other world. I'd like to go inside the Target. That too. And land base the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> so Oh well, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the drone footage of here. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with the dr drone footage just because I was getting a lot of aircraft signal interference with it so it might be a little bit shaky. Uh, to you guys. I mean, to me it is anyway, but I try to do it the best I can for you. Hope you enjoyed. Um, but that's just how it is sometimes. You can't help it, but hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. Oh, I'm so cold, man. I can hardly even talk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that said, guys, take care. Stay awesome. Enjoy racks if you can. And... Have a... How am I going to word this? Yeah, you're thinking about it. <laughs> Have a Chantry Drive Square Town Center licious day. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye, everyone. Bye.